Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is High Show with Hovannes Babakanian on AMGA, Armenian Media Group of America television channel. After a short commercial break, I'll introduce tonight's guest. Stay with us. Yerevan printing da pahume da pagrutsam barsermun vora. Menk mrtsaktsitsionis dursen. Yerevan da pagratu. Herakhos 81 If your child is having any difficulties completing their homework, needs additional educational assistance, or simply wants to improve their math, English, science, Armenian, and any other language skills, you may pick up the phone and call us now at 818-671-7986 SNL Academy to enroll your child in our program. We also provide a transportation service. SNL Academy. Inspire the future. Ոնաշարի խախտման հետևանքով ձեզ մոտ կարող է առաջանալ գլխապտույտ, հոդացավ, մկանային ցավեր, արյան շրջանառության խնդիրներ եւ այլն։ Գլենդել ֆիզիկալ թերապիա ընդ ռիհաբ սենտրսի համոտ մասնագետները կօգնեն ձեզ առաջարկելով իրենց բուժման տարբերակները, բարձր տեխնոլոգիայով հագեցած սարքավորումներից մինչև իսկ մարվալ դերսում։ Մանրամասն ընտեղեկությունների համար զանգահարել 8.2462500 կամ այցելեք 8.15 իսկ Կոլորադո փողոց 250 սենյա Գլենդել, Կալիֆորնիա։ Ձեր առողջությունը մեր առաջնահերթ խնդիրն է։ Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to High Show with Hovannes Babakanian on AMGA, Armenian Media Group of America television channel. Now it's the right time to introduce tonight's guest. He is a writer, an incredibly talented actor, director, composer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the legendary Tony Tarantino. Hello, Mr. Tarantino. How do you do, sir? How are you? Well, that's quite an introduction. So thank you. Like yes, thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much for accepting my invitation and coming to the show. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I have a lot of questions, but let's start from the beginning. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to ask a question about your early life in New York. Your parents, your oh, family, oh, sure. your early uh, yes. education. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Well, I was born in Queens, raised in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, and I grew up in a time and a place that was very, very rough. Mm -hmm. uh, seventh grade, we handmade our own what we called zip guns mm -hmm. to be able to fight territory wars. <laughs> it was it was really quite something. Uh, you learn to fight at a very young age in order to survive. Yes. <laughs> and fortunately for me, mm -hmm. my parents moved from there to California. Yes. And that w it was like being on a different mm -hmm. planet. Uh, I went to from public school in New York to a Catholic school in Los Angeles. You were like 12, 13 years old? Uh, seventh grade. Uh huh. Yes, thirteen years old. Thirteen, yeah, and it like I said, it was like night and day. All the kids laughed at me because of the way I spoke. I had uh -huh. this heavy Brooklyn accent, uh -huh. and that's really funny. I got an interesting story about that. Uh -huh. When I was a student at uh -huh. the Pasadena Playhouse, yes, uh, they said to me, "Oh, you'll never work in this town with that accent." Oh, okay. So they put me in what they call a phonetics class, mm -hmm. and for two years I studied phonetics getting rid of the Brooklyn accent. Oh. Uh, some years back, my agent got a call from the producers of um, The Sopranos, mm -hmm. and they invited me to New York to, in, to audition for The Sopranos. Uh -huh. uh, now that production, they treated me like royalty. I mean, uh -huh. first class, air flight out, best hotel, everything treated me really well. Uh -huh. I went in, did the audition, 
Then I had to come back the next day and redo it again, and I did not get the part. Oh my God. And so I asked the director, uh -huh. I says, for my benefit, so I know better the next time I go out and audition, mm -hmm. what was it I did wrong or mm -hmm. what was it you didn't like? And he said to me, he says, Tony, I'm sorry. We really wanted you. Everybody really wanted you, but you just don't sound New York, Bronx, Brooklyn enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here is from Bedford Stuyvesant. <laughs> you know, I, just, I just laughed. That, that <laughs> really was funny. Yes. So your father was an actor, right? Yes. My dad was an actor in the late 20s, early 30s. He uh -huh. even starred in silent films. Dominic? That's correct. Dominic yes. Tarantino. Dominic Tarantino. Uh, he did all these old westerns mm -hmm. with stars that people today don't even know of, like Tom Mix, Bob um, Jones, oh, Tim okay. McCoy, all of those. He did that. Uh, my dad was my hero. Yes. You know, and did he uh, influence your decision to, um, I mean, become an actor? Absolutely. I, you know, like I said, he was my hero. Yes. He was quite a teacher. Role model. Yes. And, yes. Uh, Anything he had done, I had to do. He was an actor, I had to be an actor. Uh -huh. He was a U.S. Marine in World War II, I had to be a Marine. Uh, and that's an interesting story too, mm -hmm. talking about being an actor. I'm at the Pasadena uh -huh. Playhouse and yes. we're graduating. Uh, Dustin Hoffman was there. Um, uh, Gene Hackman, you know, oh. big name people. Yes, they yes. were also students, right? When they have the graduation play, mm -hmm. uh, the student body votes on the student male lead and the student female lead. Well, right. I won the student male lead. male lead. The star of the show, they always use a headliner. And mm -hmm. in my time, that was Zazu Pitts. Oh. Okay? So the, the film, I mean, the play was uh, Sir Francis Drake. I got the play Sir Francis mm -hmm. Drake. Well, I'm in left wings, and my dad is standing right there next uh -huh. to me, and I'm waiting for my cue to go on. Uh -huh. And being a smart aleck, New York, Italian, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I get this funny idea, and I poked him in the ribs with my <laughs> elbow, and I said, hey, old man, tell me something. He looked at me, and he said, yeah, young man, what's that? I said, are you going to get upset? You're going to be jealous? I get out there and do better as an actor than you ever did. Oh, my God. And he just, his big blue eyes got all bright and shiny, a smile from <laughs> ear to ear. He put his left arm around my shoulder, pulled me in tight, and he said, son, he says, let me tell you something. Men are a lot like thoroughbred racehorses. Oh. The proof of a great stud is one that outproduces himself. He said, now you get out there and prove to this world what a great stud your old daddy really is. Oh my <laughs> God, perfect, perfect answer. So um, uh, you have black um, belt on karate and Kung, Kung Fu? Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu? Yes, oh. Hungar Kung Fu. Uh-huh, um, how helpful it was in your acting career? Do you uh, use that in movies? It, well, it's done me more good than you could imagine. Mm -hmm. It's taught me confidence. Yes. It's taught me patience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taught me... Like concentration? Yeah, and humbleness. Yes. In, in, a, in another way. And then on top of that, it taught me movement. Mm. Taught me how to utilize space to my best yes. advantage. And how to use your body. Yes, exactly. And, you know, there's a lot that most people don't mm. understand. Simple movement with just the arms or a hand mm -hmm. are dramatically mm -hmm. uh, influenced by the movement of the body and the shifting of the weight and how you use your body uh -huh. weight in emotion or in uh, a system. And okay. I use that a lot. I did a lot of stage work. Mm -hmm. And I'd use that a lot just on stage, being able to move around the stage easily, uh -huh. around other people easily. So it's been a big help in my whole life in many, many ways. Why did you choose acting over music or singing, because you are a great singer, you are playing the guitar and... Well, that happened again. My dad was also a singer. Oh. When I was a little kid, after he came home from World War II, mm -hmm. uh, and he put me to bed at night, he'd come sit on my bed 
and he would sing to me. Oh my God. All right. And his, do you remember any particular song? Yes, I sure do. For example? His favorite song was a song called Empty Saddles in the Old Corral. Mm -hmm. It was first recorded by Bing Crosby. He did it as the uh, theme song in a Western movie. Then later on in years, Roy Rogers did it. Oh. And then many years later, I did it. Oh. Uh, and I wrote a song for my dad. I call it Daddy's Words. Mm -hmm. uh, the words my daddy said to me. And I mentioned his song, Empty Shadows in the Old Corral, in that song. Uh -huh. You are also a producer. Yes. Yes. So, um, what made you uh, interested in producing movies? Well, when I started out as a young man, uh -huh. I was a damn good looking kid. Yes. <laughs> and I was so full of myself, you uh -huh. know, knowing I could do anything. My uh -huh. dad always pushed that on me. He said, you're young, you're good looking, you're talented, you could own the world. Just go right. out there and do it, right? He was right. <laughs> and, uh, and so, yes, I, I really got into self-belief on that kind of thing. But, and I did really nice shows and films when I was young. Mm -hmm. right? Then as I started getting older, it started getting harder mm -hmm. to really get meaty parts. Oh. So that's when I decided, well, if Hollywood doesn't want to hire me, I'll write my own stuff. Yes. And so that's what I started to do. I write my own film and write a, write a part in it for me that I want to uh -huh. play and produce it myself. Uh -huh. One thing about producing is you don't have to depend on somebody else. Yes. Okay, you're, you're kind of your own boss, so you set things up with yourself. And that's what led me into that. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a short commercial break. Don't go away because my guest is Tony Tarantino. Azarinharut <imitation> Եթե ձեր երեխան դժվարանում է ինքնուրույն կատարել տնային աշխատանքը, ունի հավելյալ օգնության կարիք կամ պարզապես ցանկանում է ամրացնել իր մաթեմատիկայի բնական դիտությունների, հայոց լեզվի, անգլերենի կամ այլ օտար լեզուների գիտելիքները, ուրեմն առանց հապաղելու զանգահարեք 8178 Որնաշերի խաղթման հետևանքով ձեզ մոտ կարող է առաջնալ գլխապտույթ, խոդացավ, մականային ցավեր, արյան շորջանարության խնդիրներ եվ այլն։ Գլենդել վիզիկլ թերապի են ռիհապ սենտրսի համոտ մասնագետները � Ութարուր տասնի հինք, իստ կոլորադոպովոց 250 սենյակ գլենդ էլ կարիվորնիա։ Ձեր առողջությունը մեր առաջնը հերտխնդիրն է։ We are back to high show with Hovannes Babakanyan on AMGA, Armenian Media Group of America television channel. And my guest is the legendary Tony Tarantino. Sir, um, Tony Tarantino writes, composes and produces his music in his movies. So um, tell us about uh, this um, experience. Uh, how does it work? I mean, how is it possible to do all this stuff, well, to put together? Yeah, you don't do mm -hmm. it all at the same time. Like, I've always made my living either in front of a camera, yes. when I wasn't in front of one, I'd be behind one. Mm -hmm. And then when, there, when I didn't have work in film, then I'd be on a bandstand somewhere, playing my song, singing, uh, singing my song, playing my guitar. Yes. So, either way, I was always able to make a living. Oh, yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, how was working with Arsene Bagdasarian? 
I liked him. We were really close. We became uh -huh. really good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Arshin was a genius with a computer, mm -hmm. so he was able to do everything and anything I needed done on the computer, and plus, personality-wise, he was easy to get along with, very likable. Mm -hmm. uh, so I took him with me to Spain. Uh, we did a film on... Um, uh, Blue... Trying to remember the island. Oh, the island. Yeah. Um, Ah, it slipped my mind right now. But we were there for three months mm -hmm. doing a film called uh, Mediterranean Blue. Yes. Uh, and that turned out really well. Then we came back here, and then we did another film here called Underbelly Blues. Mm -hmm. uh, and that worked out well. Then Arson uh, decided to go to Armenia uh -huh. and work on some films in Armenia. Yes, I know. Uh, sir, you are a member of uh, uh, Silver Foxes. Oh yeah, yes, <laughs> which is a, which is a group um, a group of uh, uh, celebrity parents. Right. And my question is, <laughs> are you guessing my question? <laughs> so, uh, how does it feel to be uh, the father of legendary uh, Quentin Tarantino? Uh, it, it's that's really been funny. Mm -hmm. it, it's been fun. It's been hilarious, and it's been a pain in the butt, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, all at the yeah. same time in different situations. I know. Uh, especially with different interviews and, mm -hmm. and places. I'd get on a red carpet somewhere, and, and even the first thing they would ask me about is Quentin. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd answer it. And, you know, like I said about my dad, okay, uh -huh. he was an actor. And then when I told him, you're going to feel bad, you're going to get jealous, I get out there and do better an actor as an actor than you ever did. Mm -hmm. And he just lit up, right? He got so proud of me. And every time I would do something, he was my biggest cheering audience, yes. right? He's always there for me. Mm -hmm. And I did far more than he did in theater. And it made him very proud of me. Mm -hmm. Then along comes Quentin. And he has surpassed even my wildest dreams in accomplishments, and it makes me so damn proud of him. I mean, what better compliment can you pay a man than to produce an offspring that far surpasses your own wildest dreams? I see. Do you have any work together? No. Not yet? No. Not yet. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, would you like to uh, talk about your uh, first movie as an actor? The very first one was mm -hmm. Where the Boys Are. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to put a date to it, <laughs> but <clears throat> that was my very first one, mm -hmm. and I loved it. It was it, it was really neat, and you know we did it in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, mm -hmm. and it was fun. The cast and the crew, everybody was really together, and that really helped cement my love for working as an actor. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I moved on. That was just I was just barely there, you know, in that film, but. That was my first one. And then from there, uh, I had parts on a bunch of different TV shows, Dobie Gillis, Zane Gray Theater, Dick Powell Presents, mm -hmm. and I started doing all those things. And I just, you know, from one thing to the next, and it uh -huh. just kept growing. Okay. Uh, would you like to um, uh, tell us a little bit about your upcoming project? Ah, I got a big one coming now. This is... That's interesting. This is one I'm... I'm really excited about. It's mm -hmm. titled PRISM. Prism. That's spelled P-R-I-S-M. When I say that, a lot of people think I'm saying prison. Oh, no, PRISOMA. PRISM, uh -huh. right. And it's based on facts or mm -hmm. true story. It's about an under, a DEA undercover agent that did in fact infiltrate uh -huh. the Sinanola drug cartel, did in fact get into the inner sanctum of El Chapo Guzman. Uh -huh. uh, so the characters were real people, the events did happen, uh, and right at this point, we're expecting we can go into production, start rolling cameras this coming sun, uh, summer. Mm -hmm. We have half the budget, and we're in talks with some others to finish the other half. So that's it. So anybody out there wants to 
put some dollars into this project. Of course, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is the writer? And I am. It, it, yes. So I wrote it. That was the most stupid question. No, <laughs> not at all. Yes, I wrote it and I'm directing nice. it. Great, 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 great. Um, so, um, do you have any special wishes to the Armenian audiences? Please. Enjoy my films. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a short commercial break. Stay with us, don't go away. Tony Tarantino is here. Thank you. www.yerevanprinting.net Yerevan Printing Եթե ձեր երեխան դժվարանում է ինքնուրույն կատարել տնային աշխատանքը, ունի հավելիալ օգնության կարիք կամ պարզապես ցանկանում է ամրացնել իր մաթեմատիկայի բնական գիտությունների, հայոց լեզվի, անգլերենի կամ այլ օտար լեզուների գիտելիքները, ուրեմն առանց հապաղելու զանգահարեք 81678 Որնաշերի խաղթման հետևանքով ձեզ մոտ կարող է առաջանալ գլխապտույթ, խոդացավ, մկանային ծավեր, արյան շորջանարության խնդիրներ և այլն։ Կլենդել վիզիկլ թերապի են ռիհապ սենտրսի համոտ մասնագետները � Ութարուր տասնհինք, իստ կոլորադոպովոց 250 սենյակ գլեն էլ կարիվորնիա։ Ձեր առողջությունը մեր առաջնահերդ խնդիրն է։ Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to High Show with Hovannes Papakanyan and my guest is the legendary Tony Tarantino. Mr. Tarantino, I have a special gift for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is an Armenian wine, Voskevaz, oh, okay. uh, from Voskevaz wine, Winery, which is in Armenia. And this is an Armenian cognac brandy, oh, okay. which has an actual gold in it. If you shake it, Whoa, how about you'll that? see that, yes. Oh, okay. And it says exclusively, says, here is the sign, it says, uh, to the legendary Tony Tarantino from High Show with Hovannes Babakani. Wow, This is my impressive. special thank you, sir, for coming to the show. Wow, thank you. For this great, great, great conversation. Wow, thank this, you very much. This is sir. awesome. Can you all see that? <laughs> thank all you. All right. <laughs> thank you very much uh, for accepting the invitation and coming. And thank you, sir, for having me. Thank you very much, sir. This was High Show with Hovannes Babakanian, and my guest was the legendary Tony Tarantino. Stay with us. See you next time. Yerevan Printing Yerevan Հերախոս 8-1-2-4-6-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-7-2-
Glendale Physical Therapy and Rehab Center si hamut masna getnere. Koknenze zara chorkelo videns pushman tarbera knere. Barzer technologia yo fagetsat sarka borum neriz min chevis manual dersum. Mana masan te gutsum neri hamar zangarel. Utme gut kirku chors vets hinger ku zero zero. Kamai tselek utharur tas nihing ist Colorado provots kirku arhisun senya Glendale California. Zeda rochitsuna made arachna hertontiyne.